Welcome back. Uh, let us now delve into the question number five in the CKS killer shell exam simulation. Question number five, task rate three percentage. You are asked to evaluate specific settings of cluster two against the CAS benchmark recommendations. Use the tool CubeBench, which is already installed on the nodes. Connect using SSH to the control plane and uh, SSH to the worker nodes. On the master node, ensure that the CIS recommendations are set for these things. Uh, the profiling argument of the cube controller manager, the ownership of the directory, and uh, so the, the, the first two seems like this is something on the master node that we need to check, and these two on the worker node. So first, um, let's switch to the context given there. I'll do this on both these terminals. And then for solving the first uh, section, we'll SSH on to the control plane node. And the question already states that um, the cube bench is already installed on this machine. So this is about the CIS benchmark, and we need to use the cube bench tool to get the current state of the cluster to control plane one node. So let's test that. So cube bench run. So now we are on the master node. So we will now run only the master node specific things. So first one is about profiling argument on the cube controller manager. So we're not interested in any of the other results, but rather let's grep um, for the cube controller manager. And there might be many things about it, but we will we'll grab file in three lines. And then further we'll filter for anything that has profiling in it and grab three lines. And we'll also get three lines before this match. All right. So it is about this 132 section. It says edit the controller manager part specifications. This is about the cube controller manager and on the master node and set the below parameters. So it's straightforward for now. So let us remember this one. So it's 132. We'll copy this. Uh, we'll go to this file. And there we have to add this additional parameter setting profiling as false. We'll go into this file. Uh, let us add the profiling as false as an additional parameter. Let's save this change. It is done. Now we are going to run the same again, just to ensure uh, it is passing now. So one, three, two, let's just grab for one, three, two alone this time. This is the test number. So 132 is now passing, which looks good. So that's the first question. The second question is uh, the, the ownership of the directory warlib at CD. Um, let's do the same thing, uh, but let's grab for uh, at CD. I should have added three lines 
before and after. Okay, so we could clearly see there is about something about this ownership of this etcd or etcd. So one one twelve is is failing one one twelve. So let's directly get into that one one twelve, and we are interested in violence after this result. Here we see um, one and twelve. So let's check the ownership current. Who is the current owner owner of um, this directory? It is supposed to be owned by etcd. So now we see it is uh, with the root user and the root group. Um, we need to change the ownership of this. So they have given the command already here. So we can. Uh, we can just steal it from here or you can if you already know the chown command to change the ownership of um, a file or directory you can use that now let's verify the ownership of this file again so for some reason it is Okay. Mm -hmm. If we can also use a uh, start C command, command var lib cd. Okay, so here we see it is it is already um, uh, the ownership change is already reflected um, when we use this uh, start command. Or to further check the UIDR group uh, group, we can use percentage u percentage G for this one. So it's at CD at CD, which which looks good. But LS LRT LS uh, is still not reflecting it. That doesn't matter. But we have to use the stat C which 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 gives us the right ownership. What we're going to do now is run the Q bench command again. And we know it is 112. And we want this to be passing this time. So one on two is now passed. So we're now done with the control plane side of the configuration. Uh, let's now exit from here and then connect to the worker uh, worker node. Done. So um, let's, the first one is the permissions of the kubelet configuration. So let's check the permission of uh, this configuration. Oh, it has all the permissions in the world. Uh, it is highly perm permissive and we need to set it to the right levels. Uh, let's uh, use the cube bench again to see and stick to the recommendations that the cube bench uh, provides. So now we are in the worker node. So let's change the targets to the node. And then uh, let's grab for kubelet config. And then three lines after it. Did I miss anything? Cube bench. Oh, it's targets, not target. I'll first clear the screen and then run it. Run it again. Uh, 
Great. So this is the permission level recommended by the Cubebench. So just the read permission for uh, group and others and read write permission for the owner. Now let's verify. Yes, it is. It is now reflecting the changes. We are going to do the exact same thing that we have done before running the cube config to ensure that the test is passing now. It's it's a, it's four two six as we can see, uh, not four two six. I think file permission. This is the one. So this is now passing. good. Uh, the last section of the question is about client CA file. We'll grab for client CA file as given in the question. Uh, so there is an entry and we clearly see it is already passed. Uh, but let's check um, further. Let's check the kubelet because this client CA file is on the kubelet, which which the kubelet uses. Um, kubelet is a client for the API server, so it has to use this kubeconfig file to connect or interact with the API server. So kubelet, and we are now looking for this information, kubelet config. So this is the kubelet configuration. Uh, let's check the kubelet configuration. So this is the client CA file. It points to the let's see, Kubernetes PKC dot CRT, which looks correct. Just check once again. Yeah, it's in the right direction. So I don't think there is any action needed for for the fourth section of this question. Uh, because it's already uh, passed. So that's all for this question and uh, thanks for your time.